Listen, we're talking about the death of a man, the killing of an ambassador, which did not happen under Gaddafi. Ambassadors were not killed. This, this murder of the ambassador in Libya, this murder of three staff members, including two U.S. Marines, is an act of war. It's a gaggle of psychotics, criminals, and fanatics put in power by the media elite, Anderson Cooper, remember, celebrated when the Libyans were running around in tight dungarees with blackberries by the so-called media elite and the academic eggheads under Obama. Fanatics, psychotics, criminals considered uh, the, the, the Democrats of Libya. And so the Benghazi Rebel Council, filled with al-Qaeda terrorists, is now presiding over the descent of Libya into a chaos where tribes and warlords and criminal psychotics will spend the, spell the end of civilization itself in the area. And we don't know whether this is the actual goal of Obama, not just for Libya but for the entire Arab Crescent, because it seems to me that as intelligent as these liberals are, perhaps they actually want this as a goal. Perhaps they want civilization to end in the Arab Crescent. Maybe George Soros has a money angle here. Maybe there's some money to be made if there's a descent into, uh, into chaos. I don't know. Why would they have funded this, this, uh, this occurrence, which they did? Chaos of tribalism, warlords and criminal syndicates presiding in Libya. Now a foothold for al-Qaeda. All because Obama is either the most incompetent and corrupt president in American history. He's certainly inept. The man has not attended 50% of his national security briefings over the last six weeks. He's too busy raising, raising money. There was a lack of intelligence. This is a clear failure of his foreign policy, a disaster.